Welcome back, everyone. Time for a little more Winter is Coming challenge in Project Zomboid. I want to see this trash can, actually. Sometimes there's, like, lollipops. No. Because, mmm, lollipops out of the trash can. Who doesn't love that? Yep, so Winter is Coming, if you didn't watch the last episode. There's a challenge map in Project Zomboid where it gets very cold in a couple of days. Things have been going, yeah, I would say, marginal for us. We have been scratched. We have, um... No weapon, as you can probably tell. I should probably re-equip one of our forks or spoons or something. But I almost feel like they're worse than not having a weapon in a lot of ways. We've got this pushy shovey game, or is what I call it. Uh, which works okay as long as you're only doing two zombies at a time. Because I got scratched trying to do three zombies at a time. I should also probably start a timer so I know how long this episode's going to run. And second. Just one second. Clock. Stopwatch. Start. There we go. None of these zombies want to give me weapons either, which I think is very inconsiderate of them. Let's see if we can get into this house. Every house is a world of potential. Could have baseball bats and more forks, apparently. Like the bowl. Is it? Chips. Oh, that's good. Non perishable foods are always welcome. Butter knives. I heard somebody. Trying to keep as much water on me as I can. Master books, those are really not going to be helpful. Yeah, you stay in there. Alright, well, I'm going to rip that sheet, rip this into sheets. Into bandages, I should say. How's our, how's our bandage doing, by the way? Do we need to change it? We do. Alright. This house was useless. Useless, I say. So, yeah, so we got scratched, which carries with it, I think it's like a... 10% chance of being zombified, something along those lines. It's pretty low. But it's real. So this, this may be over before it begins, but I'm, I'm, he's not, she's not showing any of the extra signs of being zombified yet. I don't like the attack music just came on. Yeah. There we go. Bruh. Rotten radish. Lots of bowls, lots of forks. I'll take that tote bag, I guess. In case we ever need a secondary bag. Before we find something better. He says optimistically. Yep, see it. Broken already. And she didn't even die. Didn't even die. Alright, yeah, you stay away from me. Let's go downstairs. You guys want to fight, you're going to have to come downstairs. Zombies are not good at coming downstairs. Alright, well, we'll leave them alone for now. Hmm. Well, we'll just keep looking. Some, uh, mobile homes over that way. I'd actually kind of liked it that one house that's closer to the quote unquote safe house. We also, in case you didn't watch the last episode, ended up in the same part of the map as we were in when we, uh, in the house that we had set up as our safe house when we died, so that's kind of funny. Alright, we got at least four here. Three of them down there. Let's see who comes around the corner. Nope, you guys lost interest already, huh? Maybe we'll just focus on killing these three and then try to get into this one. It's getting late though, we should probably try and get home. Whoa. They all turned at once. Yeah, pushy shovey with three is not gonna work. Okay, we're out of here. Let's see if we can stir up some trouble. 
Get people out of the way for tomorrow. I didn't unlock the front door, did I? I did not. Okay. That's okay. We can work with this. Mm, zombies there. Whoa, a lot of you. Where did you all come from? I feel like maybe the respawn on this particular uh, map is a little out of control. But we're going to just head back to our place that we were going to sleep if it's not already completely overrun because the respawn got out of control. We'll find out. I know there's at least one or two houses down here. Memory serves me correctly. Are you alone or are you just a harbinger of things to come? Please fall down. There we go. Okay. Yep, yeah, now there's more in this area. And somebody broke into the window. Broke both the windows. Well, so much for this for being a safe house. Oh, there's five of them. Definitely can't do five. Well, now there's four. Maybe we can pull this off. We'll try and use the uh, house as a as barrier because zombies have a tendency to get stuck on windows and doors that need busting down. So if we're lucky, not all of them will follow us everywhere. Alright, that one's down. See, those two just stopped for some reason. I don't know why they just stopped, but they did. And we're going to take advantage of it. He's going to break that last window. Come on. I don't know why things are getting a little framey here, but that's okay. I don't understand why that happens, because my, my frame rates stay completely locked. Like, I'm kicking along at 60 frame rates. 60 frames per second. Even when it gets a little laggy like that. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Alright. It's ill-advised, but I don't see why we have much of a choice. We're going to stay here. Yeah, let's fill up. Let's eat something. No, we got we're good on that. How's our damp dirty bandage? And we're infected now. Mm, awesome. Let's just sleep. Not tired enough to sleep. All right, I hate always hate the first night. Can't sleep. Let's queue up another fork, shall we? Drop that fork on the ground. There's the zombies nearby. I can hear them rustling. Hmm. Let's try to get to this house that's down here. See if we can find it. Isn't there also like a spot up here somewhere where there's just a crate just sitting out in the middle of like a construction yard? I feel like there is. Let's say step forward there. I didn't get hit, did I? No. Okay. He got pretty damn far through a lot of those animations, so I'm slightly concerned that we even gotten hit, but we seem to be okay. All right, one of you fall over. There we go. Her hair is the same color as her shirt. Please fall down. Like, now, please. Down. On your back. <sighs> there we go. Hate not having a weapon. I 
What are you? Just a dead body? Three of them down, four of them down there. Let's see if we can get into this house before without disturbing them. Nope. Hey, there we go. There's another zombie in here. Alright. Come on. Die, please. I'll take all of these. I don't necessarily need them, but I'm going to take them anyways. That's outside. That's outside. Okay. Anybody else in this house? Magazine. Oh, there's something there. But it's empty. What kind of bathroom that doesn't have anything useful in it. Oh, she walked right past me. She was heading for the door. Yeah. Every once in a while, zombie, uh, the zombie AI helps me out. Like that case, where they just headed straight for the door. We're gonna stay here overnight if this house stay, remains not deadly to me. Close these curtains. Oh, there's more than one of them. So dark, I can't see what's going on. There's the key. Two keys. Yes, sir. Let's close these curtains. Is this a, what is this? Dress, dresser down here? Alright. Whoa! Something. Saw a bunch of stuff pop up and I lost it. Oh, it's just the zombies. Alright, we're going to sleep in here until the morning when I can actually see what's going on. Um, 20 plus 7 is not or not late enough. Um, where's our book? Carpentry for Beginners. Let's read a book. For a couple hours. Till like 22, probably. Getting hungry, huh? Good enough. Turn on and sleep. It's going to get us up at 5 something in the morning, I think. Which is not terrible. Well, we should check our bandage. Yep. Sounds like it's raining. One more room to do. With a zombie in it. Interrupted her with on the toilet. Cotton balls, bath towel. Let's drink another quarter of this thing. So that's this whole house, huh? Didn't find anything useful, really. Of course, by anything useful, I divine that almost exclusively as... Uh, I'm going to take these curtains, too. Uh, anything useful is defined as a weapon. Not even a frying pan. We haven't even found a frying pan. I would love a return of the frying pan bandit. It would make me so happy. Hello, sir. No, oh, please fall down. Thank you. Are you alone? Or are you bringing people with you? Seems to be alone. Alright, let's go... I'm gonna go up this path right here, because I think this leads to that little construction yard that has a few things in it. Yeah, hello. Yeah, there's like a crate up here that could potentially be useful. So we're gonna try to get there as fast as we can. 
Nope, oh, nothing in it. Alright, that was a waste of time. Alright, we're gonna take a nice wide little circle here. Try to lead all the zombies off in a direction that makes no sense. Yep, everybody come this way. Then we'll hit that road and come back. Alright, that worked out pretty well. She is, of course, soaked. Or will be by the time we get anywhere uh, safe. Bringing zombies out of the woods. Alright. The rain just stopped? Rain did just stop. Excellent. Excellent. So we've got, we've burned through the first 24 hours, so we only have a couple more days. Hello. Until it gets cold. Nobody has anything on that. I, I, I find it su really surprising that we haven't found anything useful yet. I think we're going to have to go full... Come here. I want to want to kick your head in. I think we might have to go full uh, full nomad on this and just head into town. Oh, duffel bag. I'll take it. Don't need it currently, but you never know. Oh, hello. Please go down. No. Come on. I hate it when they won't fall down. Damn weevils. Wobble, but they won't fall down. Fall down. Alright, I'm going to give him two more pushes. Let's see. <laughs> if he doesn't fall down, I'm just going to leave. Probably should have just done that anyways. Alright, so that's the house we were just in. Which we won't be going back to. So, let's just cruise on past. Oh, hello. I know there's stuff this direction, so we're just going to push through the woods. Until we hit this house is probably where I'm trying to go. Hopefully we don't get um, completely mauled in the woods. Which is entirely possible, don't fool yourself. We might not make it out of the woods alive like that. Or we might exit the woods right into a horde. That's also a possibility. Ah, oh, there we go. How's our bandage dirty? Just the way I like it. Let's remove the bandage. If we've stopped... Bleeding. Looks like we've stopped bleeding. We have stopped bleeding, so I can leave it uncovered, it looks like. Which is good. Because that's how we have a pistol. Cotton. Food. Chips. I saw chips. Where are you? The chips somewhere. It's a fleeting glance of them. Hey there. Oh, a whole bunch of zombies in here, actually. Well, by a whole bunch, I mean two. There's two zombies in here. Oh, bad turn, bad turn. I thought we were behind him. Get out of there. God, I hate it when that happens. I know it's just an artifact of... And will you pick up the pace game? Why are you lagging? That's 60 frames a second here. Uh, it's an artifact of isometric viewpoints, but man, it's problematic sometimes. It's like the books. I'm mostly taking, in case you're wondering why I'm taking books and stuff, it's mostly for, uh, um, for potentially for fire starting materials in the future. 
that's my main goal with the books. I hear a lot of banging. I think this front door is probably uh, compromised. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna bother trying to go upstairs. How's our character doing? Oh, we have one skill point. We have two skill points. We just don't have any skills to put them in. Alright, we need to find a place to hang out for a little while. Let's see if we can get into there. As most of the zombies seem to have peeled, didn't follow us for very long, so that's good. Hello. There you go. When you don't have the means to disinfect or have antibiotics, I'm not really sure what it is you're supposed to do with regards to a infection. So we're just going to ignore it and hope that it doesn't kill me. <laughs> Can I remove this stuff? You can remove glass, okay. Wonder if you run without a weapon if you run the risk of hurting yourself when you remove glass. Not that it really matters. Come on, please fall over. So we're going to take the glass out of this window. No, not remove grass, remove glass. No, apparently, okay, you can't. You can't remove glass. We can, however. And this one we used all the way up, right? Oh, no, we didn't. No, we did. Okay. Oh, hello. Well, There's more of them than I thought there were going to be. Since I'm not gonna, apparently going to find a safe place, I'm just going to pause it and stop here for today. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, consider leaving me a like. Helps me out a great deal. And I'll see you guys back here later for some more Winter's Coming Project Zomboid. Thanks so much.